Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, we're talking about something that's part of our everyday lives, taking a walk around your neighborhood. It's a simple activity, but it can lead to some interesting discoveries or even just a moment to enjoy the familiar surroundings. Meet Ethan, a project manager, who loves getting out for some fresh air after a long day, and Mason, a freelance writer, who finds inspiration in the little things he notices during his strolls. They're going to share their experiences, from spotting changes in the neighborhood to bumping into neighbors. Before we dive in, I want to hear from you. Do you like taking walks in your neighborhood? Have you found any hidden gems along the way? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and let's get started. Hey Mason, you still doing those daily walks around the neighborhood? Oh, absolutely. It's become my go-to way to unwind. There's something really calming about just strolling around, taking in the sights. You know, the other day, I noticed a new little coffee shop. That popped up on Maple Street. Ever been there? I haven't. How is it? It's got this cozy vibe, like mismatched chairs and lots of plants. The coffee's pretty decent too, but the best part is, they've got this homemade lemon cake. That's just out of this world. I might have found my new favorite spot to work on my writing. I've already spent a couple of afternoons there, and it's been great for clearing my head and getting some inspiration. That sounds awesome. I should check it out. It's funny, though, how you can live in the same place for years and still find new stuff like that. Right? And it's not just the new places. I've been noticing changes in the neighborhood too, like some of the old houses are getting a facelift, and there's this one garden. That's always got new flowers blooming. It's like the area's got its own rhythm, you know? And seeing how it evolves over time makes me appreciate it even more. I feel like there's always something fresh to notice, even on the same old streets. Yeah, I get that. It's kind of cool to see how things evolve. Have you run into anyone you know on your walks? Actually, yeah. I bumped into Mrs. Carter last week. You remember her, right? She used to be our English teacher back in high school. Oh man, Mrs. Carter. How's she doing? She's doing great. She's retired now, but she's still super sharp. We ended up chatting for like 20 minutes about everything from books to how the neighborhood has changed over the years. It was nice to catch up. She even recommended a few books that I'm excited to check out. It's funny how teachers like her always seem to remember the little details about their students, even after all these years. That's so cool. It's those random encounters that make the walks worth it sometimes. Did she remember you right away? Yeah, she did. Which was kinda surprising, considering how many students she must have had. But I guess we weren't too much of a pain in her class. She even brought up a couple of our old class projects. I didn't realize they'd left such an impression on her. It just goes to show how strong those connections can be, even if we don't always notice it at the time. Speak for yourself, man. I was a total troublemaker. I remember that. But honestly, it's those little moments, like running into Mrs. Carter, that make the neighborhood feel like home. You get this sense of connection that you can't really find in a bigger city you know? It's like the neighborhood has its own story, and we're all a part of it, even in small ways. For sure. It's like the neighborhood has its own personality. You ever find yourself taking a different route, just to see what's changed? All the time. I like mixing it up, seeing things from a different angle. 
Sometimes, I'll find a cool mural, or even just a street, I've never noticed before. It's like being a tourist in your own town. And honestly, those little day tours can be the best part of my day. You never know what you'll stumble across when you step off the usual path. That's a good way to put it. I've started doing the same thing, taking different streets, checking out the architecture, that sort of thing. It's a nice break from the usual routine. Exactly. And it's funny, the more I walk, the more I appreciate the little things. Like, there's this one house with the friendliest dog, he's always hanging out by the gate, wagging his tail like crazy, whenever someone walks by. It's the small stuff, that makes the walk special. There's this kind of unspoken connection, between all the regulars you see out there too, like, we're all part of this unofficial neighborhood club. You're totally right. It's easy to overlook those things, when you're driving or rushing around. Walking kind of forces you to slow down and take it all in. Yeah, and it's a good way to clear your head too. I've had some of my best ideas come to me during those quiet walks. There's something about the rhythm of walking that gets the creative juices flowing. Plus, it's a chance to step away from screens and just be in the moment. I think it's something. We all need more of these days. I can see that. Maybe I should start bringing a notepad with me on my walks, just in case inspiration strikes. Not a bad idea. You never know when a great thought will pop up. Plus, it's just nice to have that time to yourself, away from screens and all the noise. It's like hitting the reset button on your day. And who knows, maybe you'll even find your own new favorite spot, like I did with that coffee shop. Definitely. I think I'll make it a point to walk more often and maybe even swing by that coffee shop you mentioned. Could be a nice change of pace. You should. And who knows, you might run into someone you haven't seen in ages, just like I did with Mrs. Carter. It's always worth getting out there and seeing what's new in the neighborhood. And hey, maybe we can meet up for a walk and a coffee one of these days. It'd be a good way to catch up and explore together. You've convinced me, man. I'm gonna lace up my shoes and hit the pavement. Thanks for the inspiration, Mason. Anytime, Ethan. Let me know if you find any hidden gems out there. Maybe we can do a coffee walk together sometime. Sounds like a plan. Catch you later. See you around. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. We hope you enjoyed our chat about neighborhood walks. Remember, it's the little things that make your neighborhood special. If you've got any stories about your own walks, we'd love to hear them in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one.